This is Mark Bell from Super Training Gym in Sacramento, the strongest gym in the West. Got my homie Juan Laiha giving me a lift off there. Juan has benched over 650 pounds at 242 in competition. Got my pro lifter homie over there in the orange shirt, that's Ryan Spencer, giving me a side spot. And here we go with the workout. Got 505 for three pauses here. Piece of cake. I think the pause work uh, can really help with a lot of different things. It can help with explosive power and strength off the chest, as well as uh, help the lockout because you, uh, you hold the weight for longer, more time under tension. Anytime you can make a lift harder, it's a better thing. Um, it'll make you use less weight and still work extremely hard. That's a 555 pound weight there. Moves pretty good. Here's my fat little self wearing a super duper phenom. I've been dealing with this shirt for a little bit now. And I like the comfort of it. I just like that the shirt is um, a lot easier for me to use. It's a 770 pounds there off the three board. Um, and uh, the shirt's a lot stretchier. So it's a lot, uh, a lot easier to get weights down. I don't, I don't struggle as much to uh, bring weights uh, down full range of motion. This is uh, 820 pounds. This lift goes pretty easy for me as well. But uh, this is where I decided to shut it down for the night. Got a lot of good raw work in beforehand, and got that work in right there. This is Lisa Lindhurst. We're working really hard on. Oh wait, I just did hard on tonight. We're working really hard with her. Uh, trying to keep her butt on the bench. Um, one thing she could do better here is she could have her feet scooted back a little bit further. It makes her thigh angle point downward towards the floor more and would rotate her hips so her butt stayed on the bench a little bit better than it already is. As you can see right here, with 140 pounds, which is a five pound PR, her butt came up just a little bit. Another thing you could do to um, to remedy that with the butt coming up is you can lock your legs in first. So lay down flat on the bench, completely flat as a pancake. Um, have your head slightly off the back of the bench uh, and bring your feet down uh, underneath your knees, under your butt, or under your knees, and then um, slide yourself in a position by getting your arch, but leave your feet sturdy, leave your feet stuck in the ground, leave them where they are. Uh, then you'll have that downward angle that I was referring to earlier, and that should help a lot. Another thing you can do is do exercises like this to build up the triceps, um, building up uh, more arm strength will help you uh, help you execute a textbook bench press. But here we are doing some assistance work. We did about three or four sets of 12 reps. We did this, then we did uh, tricep pushdowns, and we followed that up with some curls. Lisa is very easily confused. And she remembers we got another set here. She goes over and bangs out some uh, tricep pushdowns. You can make up a lot of different things. We could have done some push-ups in between this. We could have done some band tricep work. Um, uh, we could have done some barbell curls. We could have done, you know, you name it. High rep bench press, uh, high rep reverse band, high rep slingshot push-ups, whatever you want to throw in there. Um, it's up to you, uh, but this work has to be done. If you want to get better, you have to be nailing this work. You have to be building muscle. You have to look like you work out. If you're going to be strong, you're going to have to look at it at some point. But here's Lisa banging out some curls, and you two can be jacked like her. And that's pretty much it from supertraining.tv.